Hello, I'm Michael Cassidy. Thanks for coming to my channel and doing a nice uh, spiked up cut, probably a three quarter. I'll actually take gel and stand it up, but we'll do a close cut like a uh, one one guard on the side. Just a nice, neat look. Young folks haircut. What I'll do is just take this guard right off on the side, all the way up where it changes right here. This is the kind of haircut you need to go if you're working in one of those places, like maybe a young lady's got a, a shop or maybe working inside of one of those uh, cutting places where you need to learn how to do these cuts. You didn't learn in school, so you come to YouTube and you try to figure out how to do this cut. This is, is something you really need to know how to do to be successful cutting hair because the guys are really wearing these haircuts now. But it's the easiest pie you just, if you don't know what to do with it. You just don't know. So. But if you watch YouTube, you'll know how to do it. There's a lot of people cutting a lot of nice looking haircuts on YouTube. And you won't have any trouble. You know, so I'm trying to bear just on this edge right here, just cut a little at a time. I'm not really trying to cut a whole section off completely. I want to make sure I get all these sprigs off of it. Kind of coming up at an angle slightly. If I were going to do a flat top here, which we're not, then I would take and I'd stick that comb in there and let the center of that comb almost touch. That's how short it would be, about the length of the comb. The thickness of the comb right in the center, leaving the edges longer. So that's where people make the mistakes on flat tops. A lot of people thinking they're supposed to leave it longer. I'm really experienced, but if I got to leave it really long, a lot of times it's not going to look as good as it would if I did it short. Flat tops are kind of meant to be kind of short. To really look good, they just don't last any time at all. If you are. Uh, more than a week, maybe, if you leave it really long. So. Had a guy that cleans up every night to wind my uh, clipper up because if they drop them, they just, they're no good. It's just over with. Then I like to use something like this on it to lubricate it and to clean it. with these clippers here, go lightly with them. Do not press down on them hard. You don't have to. Let it glide. Glide across the neck with it. When you find your place where your hair gets thick here, that's where you want to do your line at, where it comes thick. You don't go way up in this line.
three quarter guard. And run over the top just to make sure that it's good and clear. Good. I want to get it just the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this stand up here at the front. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to fade right in here. I'm going to come after I get this standing up and, and really smooth it in. I'm going to look at it and see that it's a kind of a brush cut, kind of a spiky look. Get a 3 8 guard now. I'm going to fade this in. And I'm going to put a little lube on this thing. You notice what I'm doing here, I'm fading. Changes is right through here. You can see that it crosses right there. Use some of this. standing this three quarter blade up now to make the difference to go into that I'm standing up the half half an inch guard to match the three quarter up here on top. Okay. 
I'm going to take this down just a little bit more through here. What I'm doing is just trying to make this thing level through here. I'm not trying to bear down and get it round up through here. With the, I want to have it just a little longer here to make a straight look through here. So I'm kind of standing this up. And as I stand it up, it lays down further back here. Standing it here, and then when it hits this part here, it's, it's just right. It blends together. So when I stand it here, it goes into a perfect look. can of spray now. Spray is going to make it stand up when you put the blood right with it, it's going to make it stand. When you put that heat on it, it's going to work. So what you got. Must have uh, be a perfectionist if you're a barber, or have a compulsive disorder. One where you just keep going back, checking it, working on it. You really do good at it. So, 
not that easy, but it's a, it's a rewarding job, and you, if you really love it, you're going to do great at it. You cut 20 or 25 heads in a day's run, that's when you're going to find out what you're made of, if you really like it or not. It's tough. Well, I do after we do that, just kind of do this right here. Just kind of. Kind of see what's going on here. It's a good, neat look.